we got to talk about this J-Lo thing because I didn't even, I just added her to the show notes, but like, I don't wonder, like, I'm trying to choose my words because I don't want, I like J-Lo. I do. I was, shouldn't even have to put that disclaimer <laughs> on this, but I feel like she makes herself not likable by mm -hmm. attempting Try to be so fake relatable. And it's like, mm -hmm. J-Lo, like you are mega famous mega rich you're not the same jenny from the block anymore and that's totally okay nobody expects you to be but your attempt at being that is flopping like this is a very big j-lo flop era like from that musical <laughs> documentary movie it was a hot mess and then mm -hmm. like she has a documentary on the musical movie that's also a hot mess and then that damn vogue interview where she talking about orange drinks J Lo, I need you to log out for me, babe, because we we overexposed. We getting too much Jenny on the block right now. It's too much. <laughs> too much of a good uh, thing is no longer a good thing. Okay. I feel like she wants to kind of have like, not to compare her to Beyonce, but this is the only person I could think of right now. How Beyonce reps her city, and you're like, mm -hmm. okay, we know that she's from Houston. Like mm -hmm. she kind of wants that, but also Beyonce isn't like. You know, I used to eat ham and was it ham and cheese on a roll and the orange drink? If you know, you yeah. know, like that's just mm -hmm. not the vibe. Like it's just because it's real. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's mm -hmm. it's genuine from somebody like Beyonce or even somebody like Meg because it's real. Like they don't have to not, feel like they they, they don't feel like they have the constant. They're not putting on themselves. Like yeah. J Lo, it feels like she she feels like. She's constantly having to like prove something that don't nobody yeah. care about for her. Don't nobody care that you lived in the Bronx like 35 years ago, babe. Like it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, he, so Beyonce has been like 35 years since she lived in Houston too. 100%. But 100%. I just, I don't know what, like she's just trying too hard, I guess. That and also, because this just came to my mind. Beyonce is involved in a lot of philanthropy involving Houston. Um, mm. I I can't speak for what J Lo does as far as philanthropy, philanthropy, but I have not heard mm. a lot as far as her giving back to the Bronx. I think this would be much more better received. Is if she is doing things like that, we need to hear that. We need to yeah. hear that. Not that you had an orange drink. Crazy. You know, you know, he'd be on the ground in um, Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, doing stuff. That's I think that's the difference. Yeah, because now it's like you just trying to claim Bronx for the clout kind of thing. Jenny, when the last time you've been to the Bronx? You know, she is not stepping foot on that motherfucking. <laughs> you let us know. <laughs> let us know. I think she is not stepping foot on that block. Is it? And like I said, I don't know what she's doing. I hadn't heard anything yeah so, we don't know for never. sure yeah i've never heard of her doing any type of philanthropy in the bronx so i think it will be much better received if it was more of a actions over her words type of mm -hmm. thing it just feels like like you said it's, it feels like trying to gain some type of clout or like street cred from a place that you ain't lived it in like 40 years and it's just like who even cares about that? Yeah. And why do you care about that so much? It's 2024. Like, we not we not doing the clout, the street cred type thing. Like, that's just problematic in itself. We grown. We yeah. Grown. I mean, at this point, she would have been Jenny not from the block longer than she was Jenny from mm -hmm. the block. So, let's just Absolutely. keep it there. But, yeah. I, I love Jenny. <laughs> I mean, don't have a problem with her either, but it's just, uh, it's been funny seeing her get dragged on this. It's just, it's just a try hard thing. I know. I know. It's interesting to me because I've seen a lot of discourse about this. People have been relating J-Lo and Justin Timberlake going back into music and how that they both are just, because one, I, I saw old oh, Justin Timberlake's like Tiny Desk concert. That was amazing. So I'm kind of surprised that his album is not doing well. Personally, full mm. disclosure, I have not listened to his album either because I'm kind of over him, to be I honest. I feel like he one. it, yeah, he has a new album out. And if I'm seeing Justin, I need to be seeing NSYNC. I don't want to see him solo anymore. I want to see him in How in crazy is that? How the know. table has turned. I know. 
I know. And so my thing is like, I think it's interesting to kind of think about the trajectory of like J-Lo and Justin Timberlake's music career compared to like a Beyonce who have, they have had like the same length of careers, but it's like Beyonce's mm -hmm. ability to still be relevant in music and them not being able to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's interesting to see like what's, why, why that is. I, I mean, like I know y'all gonna say been a lot in yeah. more innovative instead of just like I innovative like, and consistent. That innovative too. Like consistent. the the woman changed the date that music was released. Like music yeah. used to be released like what on a Friday or whatever. Mm -hmm. She dropped self titled randomly on the Tuesday, and now that's just like with no promo. The standard, nothing. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like she's done a lot more. And that's just one example. She's just done a lot of more innovative, unique, unique type of stuff in her yeah. career. I think, yeah, I think J-Lo is trying to be like her. She's trying to do whatever's like trending as far as music goes, like mm -hmm. whatever's popular. And Justin Timberlake is trying so hard <laughs> to recreate his old sound that did very well. Neither one of them are being innovative at all and also like is I, I was thinking this track? I'm sure this is produced by Timberland I'm like I'm it. like 99% sure it, which goes into trying to recreate which I'm not saying I mean Justin Timberlake and Timberland make some great music together but I'm just saying it's not really he's not very he's not really evolving I'll say that um, and I know y'all are going to say in the chat because you know J-Lo ain't even really singing it's Ashanti <laughs> that definitely has something to do with it um but yeah it's just interesting to see Jamelia said I'll uh, oh, go ahead I love that I searched just a tip like new album and the first thing that people ask is how is it doing that's not a good sign that's not a good not sign, sign. Mm -mm. it's not a good sign uh, Jamelia said that J-Lo's about to have a J-Lo orange drink I mean she might as well make a couple bucks from this, <laughs> so she is able to. <laughs> it's just a, I, if you know, you know. I feel like she put that on there to try to like make it seem like only people there for, would know. And the people kind of like mysterious, like, huh? like, what are you talking about? The people there, it's like, uh, uh girl, we don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, Jeanette said we didn't ask for JT, we asked for Insane, and I think he knows that because he had a show in LA where he brought out Insane, and everybody went crazy, and it's like. This is what we want, Justin. And we know you are the holdup. You are the reason why we have not got, we just assume it, but we think we feel confident <laughs> in the fact that he is the reason why we haven't got like a full blown in sync reunion because, you know, he too big for his riches. And that's annoying. That's hella, hella annoying. Yeah. Timbaland is, mm -hmm. on, is on this uh, album, mm -hmm. by the way. But, yeah. 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 Christy said JT trying to get a, a, a Vegas residency. I mean, I guess that makes sense. And he should. He has a great catalog of music, and that would be a very, very good show. I think that would do better for him than like a nationwide tour. Because if you touring, we want to see insane boo boo. I'm sorry. We just do. It's been too long. JC I know still he mad sound good. Sucks to no, suck. Shouldn't yeah. play with uh, <laughs> Janet and Brittany. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> Jamelia said because they were appropriating and not being genuine. I definitely think that mm. is an aspect of it because you can like with how Beyonce's music career has gone, you can you cannot say without one hundred percent certainty that she is making the music exactly what she wants to make and the exact sound that she wants to make that is authentic to her. She yeah. just. You know what I'm saying? And she's not trying mm -hmm. to be nobody else. So I love that. Julie, it's okay that you're late. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Possum said, weren't they supposed to have an album or something? They were on Hot Ones a while ago. That was literally just to promote that goddamn troll song, girl. They played with us real bad. Yeah. I, I mean... Yeah. I mean, Lance is a social media mastermind at this point, so... Mm -hmm. He did it. He did that. He did. 